Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we'll discuss how to navigate through the government library module in contractor mode. Now let's get started. The five modules in this area represent data sets that are common in both RMS3 contractor mode and RMS3 government mode. They are editable only in RMS3 government mode. If data needed is not included in the library, you will need to contact the designated USACE representative to request an addition to the library. The government library module consists of work categories, specification sections, submittal types, contractor trades, and labor classifications. We will now turn to our RMS program to view these modules. Once logged into RMS contractor mode, double click on a prime contractor to get to the contract selection view. Select the gray government library module right underneath contractor mode home and to the right of the user settings module. Here we can see the list of modules as previously described. Work categories found here can be used to further sort and filter activities in the contract. Consult with your USACE representative if you need to add reference work categories that are not already included in your library. When using ESTA files, the work categories list must match the ESTA file exactly or report errors can occur. Work categories are generally required in the ESTA file by the project schedule specification section. For more information on importing an ESTA file, please see the link in the description of this video. You may utilize the search function in any of these screens to better filter the selections. Specification Sections module contains a list of the specification sections found in the Unified Facilities Guide Specifications or UFGS. Since the format of the specification number has changed over time, there are three lists representing the numbering formats, Master Format 1995, 2004, and 2014. If a specification section is used or created in a design-build contract that is not found in one of the lists, it can be manually added to individual contracts in the specification section module or through the import of a specs and tax exported text file. In the Submittal Types module, the 11 types of submittals or SD numbers as defined in section 013300 submittal procedures are listed here. Types 1 through 11 are not editable in either contractor mode or government mode as shown by the entry type System Standard USACE Wide. When creating a submittal section from scratch, assign it to one of the types found in the library. Other variations and types may also be added by the district office and are exclusive to the district. Consult with the designated USACE representative before using these or if a type is not listed and is needed. Contractor Trades is a frequently used contractor trades list. All required subcontractors should be associated with the trade from this library. These trades can be assigned in the subcontractor module located in the contract. Notify the designated USACE representative if a trade needed is not found in the library. Labor classifications commonly use Davis-Bacon Act labor classifications as defined by the Department of Labor are listed here. This information is needed when reporting labor hours to the QC Daily Report. These classifications can be filtered by classification name or occupation code. Notify a designated USACE representative if a labor class is not found in the library. In summary, we discussed how to navigate through the government library menu as well as define the sections within the government library. As a reminder, the five modules in the library cannot be edited by the contractor. If there are work categories, submittal types, contractor trades, or labor classifications that are missing from the government library, contact your government representative to add them. If a specification section is missing, you can manually add them to individual contracts or import them into a contract from a text exported specs intact file. If you experience any technical issues while navigating through the government library, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket or by calling the Help Desk phone. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description box of this video. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.